Do you have some ripped up old jeans and you're wondering what you can do with them? Why don't you make a rug? Today I'll show you how. If you're new to DIY, you may not know that I'm weaving addicted. I enjoy weaving rag rugs out of old sheets, clothing, t-shirts, twine, uh, plastic bags. I have links to all of those videos down below. But today we are going to take jeans and we are going to make a beautiful, beautiful rug using uh, just strips of the jeans. To make the rug, you're going to need a loom. And luckily my husband Ross has a video also on our channel, super simple. There's two different kinds of looms you can make, one out of lumber and you build it yourself. The other is a video on how you can take some artwork. Um, we found ours at the thrift store and how he converted that to a frame. So check out how to make a loom. So don't let that stop you. You can build a loom and you can weave this rug. So we'll get started. I'll show you step by step everything you need to know to make this adorable rug. I am going to use my loom that is 16 inches by 33 inches long. And since the denim is stiff and uh, it's going to be nice and thick, I am going to warp my loom with crochet thread. Uh, you can use twine um, or some sort of a string. I just would be concerned that if I did fabric uh, warp that it would be really uh, bulky. This is cotton crochet thread. To calculate how much material you, you need to warp your rug, take your number of nails times two and then take that number times the length of your loom. So we have 33 nails times two is 66 times 33 inches gives me roughly 60 yards of uh, warp fabric that I need. So to start with, I'm just going to simply tie a knot on this end, nothing fancy, just a, enough to do a knot and I'm going to put it over my first nail. Then you just go back and forth, nail to nail, nice and tight. Okay, you get down to your last nail, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my cord and tie a knot here as well. Okay, so we have all of your nails are uh, covered with warp, and now we can prepare the denim uh, for the weaving. To make the strips out of the, the jeans for your rug, I'm just taking some trash jeans from uh, my boys and just cut them into pieces as long as you can. So here is a leg. I cut around the seams. I cut around the pockets just with scissors. And at this point, we can use our rotary cutter and I'm going to cut my strips into three quarters of an inch long. So I'm gonna even up this one edge. Uh, typically, I'm not worried about an uneven edge, but my, my edges go at all different angles. So I'm just gonna start with a straight edge and cut these to be approximately, give or take, three quarters of an inch wide. And now we need to join the strips. So you need to take the um, two ends of your jeans and fold them over one at a time. Oh, I'd say a generous half inch, three quarters of an inch, and put a snip in the fold. So do that on the other one as well. When I'm doing cotton fabric, you can lay them on top of each other and fold, uh, but depending on how thick your denim, in that denim is, that might not work. So now you have a snip on this one and a snip on this one. Just lay them on top of each other. So now you, ha you can put your finger through both of them. Bring the tail of one of them down through it. And now you have joined your fabric. Okay, first time for everything. We have done 
hundreds of videos now for the YouTube channel and this is the first time I've came into technical difficulties. When you film the video, you upload it to your uh, computer, then when it's, the project is done, we edit it and put it together. The clip on how to do the first row of the rug was corrupt. It will not upload. So lucky for you, I have been able to put in a clip from the t-shirt rug. It's the exact same concept. So don't get thrown that I'm not holding jeans. I, it is a strip of t-shirt that I'm using. Same exact concept. So for the next couple minutes, the video is going to show you how to start the rug. It's just using a different type of fabric. The method is the same. So apologies, but we're still going to make a fantastic rug when you're all done. So I'm just going to start with just one color. And to start, you, you weave around the rods as if that is a part of your fabric, as, that is a, as if that's a part of your warping. So you take one strip and you put one end in between your first warp. So underneath the nail, split the hole with a finger and bring up one tail of your t-shirt. You take the other tail and you go down that same hole and while you're behind there, you're not going to be able to see my finger, but you're going to come up the next hole of your warping. So we, on the one that's in this hand, I've went down and I've come back up. So then you take your the tail that is up and you go in and bring it up your next warp. You take this tail that just came up, you go in and you come back up this one. This one goes in and this one goes up. So now I'm going to go ahead and weave across. Okay, I'm down to the end here and again, we have to go around this rod. I've come up with the white and I need to go down through the next warp hole and I go under the rod and come back up. So when I come around, I need to go back in that same hole and come back up the next hole. So we have went around the back, through and back up. On the rest of the rows, this is the, the second row, you are always weaving over two and over two, under two, over two. You always have two of the warp cords um, that you're going of, over and under. So when we were coming across here, we are staying in the same hole that was created by your first row. So your first row made a natural gap underneath the nail and that's where you stay the rest of the pattern all the way down your project. I'll show you how you end that and we'll have um, a different uh, instruction then. But for your rug, you stay weaving in that same gap that was created by your first row. So here we are at the end of your second row and I've been staying in the same gap. We're going to go around this rod on every row. So now I have one to the back, one to the front. Just exchange places, crisscross them around. So here's the front one. It's gonna go around to the back and come up in that first gap. This is the back one. It's gonna go around and go back through that first gap and continue. And as you go a little bit, you're just going to have to hold your project, hold your warping to give it some stability and push up your weaving. 
Okay, look at how close I am. So the way I do um, my weaving, I weave one direction. When it gets far enough down, I flip it over. So now I have flipped this over and I have been weaving up towards the nails. When you get about a finger width away from the nail, that will be your last row and this next start part is super important. Otherwise, all of your weaving will slide off of your warp and your uh, rug will be uh, a mess. So I wanted to be uh, very careful to show you the next step. So I'm down here to the end and we're gonna do this last weave. And we're going to go around the rod just as always. So now, instead of coming up between your uh, warp, we need to come up underneath the nail. Just how you started your very first row, your very last row is the same way. So this is where a crochet hook um, sometimes helps. The denim is a little thicker, so I have a hole cut in the end of it. So this is the one that needs to come through and I'm going to just put my crochet hook in and draw through the weaving through the warp. So this one came forward, now this one needs to go to the back. And then you just pull it through. So here we're pulling this one forward Put the crochet hook to the back and pull that one to the back. So just continue that all the way across to the end and then the next step is to finish it off. I'm down to where I have just two uh, weavings left. So continue to pull them through clear to the end. Um, on all of the warps you continue to pull them through the center. I have accidentally forgot this last one before uh, because it's in line with the rod so make sure you don't forget that last one. There tends to always be a way to save your project though so if you get down and there's a snafu message me and uh, we can talk through how to save the project. So I've came down to the last one it's pulled through. I have both pieces on each side. Okay, I'm gonna go around the rod one more time. Put my hook through the center of the warp and pull that one forward. And then this one needs to go to the back. It is pretty tight, so you might have to get creative um, and push it through with your hook just so you can get it through there just at least one more time. And I'm going to pull them so they're both on the same side. So just in between any weaving, I'm going to pull this back one forward. It's at this stage, you're, it's so tight, you're probably getting some raveling going on. So I'm going to make one knot just the, the first stage of the knot. I'm gonna cut them so it's a little bit more manageable at about three inches a piece. And then feed these tails down through some of your weaving. So I'm just gonna put my hook underneath there and pull this tail down into the weaving so it just gets hidden. So I just put my hook in and put it in the weaving so that it's hidden just like that. Okay, and then I will cut this one to probably just give it a, almost a half inch little excess there and do the same with this tail. Okay, I have all the um, tails woven in and the, the threads clipped. So now I'm just gonna pull out the steel rod on each side. And this is the big reveal. It has to be one of my favorite parts. Just gently pull off your warp off of each nail. Okay. 
Okay, that's the side we were just looking at. Here is the opposite side. This is the last row, the one that we just uh, finished doing the uh, weaving through the underneath the nail. So you will just with your fingers, pull your uh, rows up to the end. And look, it's just disappearing already because this rug is super, super tight. And not only is it super tight, it is super uh, square. I, <laughs> I love the way it feels and it's, it's just thick, really thick. So at this point, um, if it's slippery on your floor, you can add uh, foam backing. I just use shelf liner um, that I, I get off of Amazon. The link is down below. And just slip stitch it on the back of it. But here is the completed rug. Absolutely, we'll do this again and again. This took about five pair of jeans, uh, cutting them into three quarter inch strips, and it just turned out fantastic. So I have a ton of videos on rugs, on washing them, on different uh, kinds of fabrics. So check out our links down below. If you ever have any questions while you're doing your project, let me know. I love, love to hear from you. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.